let's get into this next match. Looks like we're going to be having Seth Vaughn versus Havoc Link. Yes. FXDFW, Stefan, I might add. Big shout out to Trey for sponsoring him. Thank you so much. Uh, but Havoc Link, we've seen this man earlier. He came back from giving away the first game due to controller problems and just doing work. And now he is very loyal to. These are both character loyalties. Uh, you know, Stefan opting for Roy, Havoc Link opting for Wario. And they really are just playing characters that kind of uh, accentuate their own uh, playstyle as fighting game players. And not only that, something else to think about is the fact that because Havoc Link is a uh, frequent attender at Overzealous, he has some good experience against Roy, seeing as he plays against Shokyo a lot. The issue is, though, that as good of a Roy player as Shokyo is, he's not quite in the same caliber as uh, Seth Long. So it's going to be really interesting to see if Havoc Link can kind of adapt to that. Unfortunate there, if he had just held onto the edge, he would have been able to get that first talk in Seth Long. So. When you look at Cephalon, um, just keep in mind that what he's really doing is um, a lot of the techniques and a lot of stuff that you hear about that Serlin talks about. Serlin being one of the master game designers. Um, and, you know, he's a big Serlin fan. One of the concepts there is Yomi. And um, just it's a Japanese term for the idea of reading the mind of the opponent. So um, just consider, you know, the count, you know, the, the idea of counters and the counter to the counter. And then the counter to the counter to the counter. So, Yo, dog, I heard you like counters. You will see exactly what I'm talking about here, where you will see the same situation, and you'll see the adaptation. So keep an eye out for those sort of things. Good down tilt there. Oh, beautiful stuff there by Havoc. Is he seriously in the lead right now? Yes, he Did is. Did you see this coming? I mean, he's put in the work, man. I've been wanting to see this for a while. But Cephalon, coming back from a pole, you know, fighting fight the, fight the seasons. Putting on a lot of pressure right now uh, on uh, Havoc. Good music. It's better than the Smash Bros. music. It definitely is better than Smash Bros. music. The shoulder bash there to avoid getting hit by that uh, side. Apologies, that charge beat. Alright, coming back on. Down tilting, trying to really poke him out. But Havoc finding his way back onto the stage and keeps finding fares to push him back out. Oh, now it's his turn. Oh, I thought wow. he was going to laugh. That was really smart stuff, tr knowing that the trade of the neutral air with uh, the up B would go in Havoc Link's favor. Really, I'm thinking the way that uh, Havoc has been playing off of the edge, and it's made it a little bit difficult for, for Cephalon to really put on the performance that we're used to seeing him have, as he is down a stock. <laughs> made him stanky. Oh yeah, if he was closer to the right side of the stage, there's a good chance that that would have ended the game right there. And that would have been the upset of upsets. Excellent work. That's the stock. We're yeah. back at neutral again, but you have 84% on Cephalon. Havoc Link is in a great position right now to make quite the upset. Oh my! The commentator's curse of commentator's curses right there! Havoc Link, please, homie! You had that game! It's alright, man. No, shake it off. Shake it off. He's back from round two. Neptune ah. right now. <laughs> What? Uh, uh, Infinity with the bad Infinity. jokes. <laughs> Infinity made the worst jokes. <laughs> Infinity with the worst jokes right now. Havoc Link, every week I come, I see this guy come out here, and every week it's just like one thing after another. Please! Come on, man. <laughs> uh, but <laughs> I hey, digress. I'm proud of how he did. He did a really good job. He was so good out the gate. So good. And but just that ending. Not so good. But we also have to give props to Cephalon for uh, his Being adaptation Cephalon, as well. Yeah. You know, uh, Options that had worked earlier on clearly did not work whenever uh, it really counted, aka that last stock. And because of that, he was able to actually take that game back. But Cephalon also being the kind of guy that you will, that, like I said earlier, is all about adaptation, all about reading the opponent, and then adding those counters in there in the same situation. So as time will progress, you'll see Cephalon get more and more precise. You know, I'm, how do you feel about this counter pick? I think everyone loves PS2. That's true, that's true. But the thing that it allows Cephalon to do is that it gives him a couple more opportunities to really uh, put his opponent above him. For example, he could use a throw, yep. and an up throw, and force his opponent onto that platform. And from there, it's scary oh. business. Oh, oh my gosh. Beautiful stage spike. I don't think people on, on in, can see it in the webcam there, but uh, Lunchable's visibly disgusted with that, with that <laughs> stage spike. <laughs> Havoc Link still is still in this. He can still make this happen. He put on such a beautiful performance in that last game. Oh, how? So, so one thing that he is really good at is 
doing the trades with the neutral air to beat out the up B. But where he's starting to suffer really is with edge hawk. He's not necessarily doing the best job of holding us to the edge to the last possible second. Because of that, we've seen some relatively free recoveries for uh, for Seth. There we go. Seth on extending his lead there, recognizing that Havoc was going to be doing the side B. And just holds onto the edge. And you notice this is exactly what I'm talking about, where Cephalon used that first game as data, and really now you're seeing oh. a potential four stock in the making. How did this turn around so quickly? Havoc Link was about to make the upsets of upsets. Right now it's just not going his way. Oh, there we go. Good stuff there. Oh, and the Twerk, Twerk team. Twerk team captain still in my heart. Let's go. Good get up attack there. Mixing it up. Interesting. Reading, trying to get some uh, reads on the stand up. Oh, oh, just out of range for the bite. That was a great option there by Stefan. Oh, good job using the side view. Yeah, the shoulder bash was just what he needed. Havoc Link, not ready to give up. <laughs> the creep. I love the creep so much. He's so good. Oh, uh, these characters. These characters really fit them so well. Oh, beautiful offstage play there by Cephalon. And he's able to bring that back from nearly having the upset of upsets to putting on quite the performance to make that a 2-0 victory. Cephalon doing an excellent job of really adapt, uh, using great 